The Atlanta Falcons have released outside linebacker Dante Fowler. The, uh, the Falcons signed Fowler to a three-year deal, $45 million contract in March of 2020, in hopes that he would kind of jumpstart Atlanta's pass rush. Um, you know, maybe Seattle. They need a pass rusher. Maybe that's the next destination. And I think this is the only beginning um, for the Atlanta Falcons. They have so much dead weight on their payroll. It's time for a true overhaul. Unless they feel they could get valuable years out of Matt Ryan, I think it's about time to think about life after him as well. And you always say, you know, or you always have that mindset that players don't owe a loyalty to a franchise. It would be nice, but you really don't. Um, this franchise will cut these guys whenever they feel like it in the Falcons. I mean, it, you see it coming. Especially if they cut them by a certain date and get out. Uh, you know, certain, if they cut them by a certain date, um, they get out of paying them any more money. It's a business first. And parties involved should always treat it that way. Maybe you might say that loyalty has no room in sports. Fantastic for the Rams. Um, you know, maybe that's what happens. Aaron Darnold uh, kind of helped him get paid. It makes a lot of guys look good. Um, and listen... Um, he, um, Aaron Donald just opens up everything, by the way, right? Floyd understood that, and it, and it, it you know, it paid off great for him. Uh, just using a, another example. Um, you know, uh, this is part of why the Rams' high leverage approach worked. Knew this was insane money and let him walk. Take the comp pick. So, you look at that, and I know he had 10 sacks in 2017 with the Jaguars, but actually, actually wait, actually, um, eight and then two in the, in the playoffs, but some time ago. I hope all is well, you know, and that injury, knee injury too changed the trajectory of his career. Life really comes at you fast when you're not playing next to Aaron Donald. Hope all is well.